my way to my Zumba class. I did get a little bit ready so that I don't look like like a complete scrub. <laughs> I hope my camera doesn't fall off. Okay, I did take down my Zumba video that I did because I just didn't like the quality. The reason that I started my own Zumba class is because I want to help women. And I want to help mostly women that are moms that, uh, or young women that need support. I know that it is a really hard hour for a lot of people because you guys work. But I know that there are people that can make it. Uh, you just have to schedule that time, pack your crap, and take it with you. Take a shower right after, or wait until the end of the day, as long as you got your workout in. The people that I'm looking for are people that need help and that want the motivation to lose weight. Even if you don't go to break a sweat, but you're going because you need a coach or a support system, like that's the kind of people that I want to attend to my class. Uh, last year when I had my first child, I just completely stopped doing everything. I just specifically took care of my son for like five months. And within those five months after having Elijah, I was still attending doctor's appointments and I was going to physical therapy and I never thought that I would be able to do what I'm doing now. I never thought that I would be able to exercise to the extent that I am at now. So if I keep looking over to my right, it's because the door is open and my son is, is also by the door. Uh, my childbirth was very difficult. My delivery was so hard, but I accomplished so many things during my delivery. Like, it was an unmedicated birth. Like, I didn't have, um, it was basically a natural birth. I didn't have an epidural. I didn't have a C-section. I had to have an assisted vacuum birth because Elijah's head was stuck. So I ended up having, um, a vacuum assisted birth which took me a really long time to heal from I had to do like home remedies on myself and I'm gonna be honest I am so thankful that I am healthy and that I am young and that I am strong because I healed but there are women that have shared videos of them never healing and this actually like traumatizing them and changing their complete life I was so drugged out you guys like on pain meds for a while I was getting more depressed trying to research three degree tears being like oh my god I'm never gonna get better things are never gonna heal and oh like I, I, I get like um, chills thinking like that because I was being so hard on myself and on my body and being so negative but I came across YouTube channels that inspired me that helped me get out of that just becoming inspired on becoming a better version of myself of not letting like the hard times get me down I want to be a good mom for Elijah and I realized that I can't be a good mom if there's things that I can't confront and face. And part of that is my past, like my struggles in my childhood when I was being sexually abused. And this is stuff that is, it's hard for me to talk about, but it's stuff that I wanna help other women with. Because I know so many women that have been sexually abused and they don't talk about it. Obviously they don't talk about it and they've never had justice. It just like myself and I don't want my son to be like that. I will never be like that. That's disgusting. But I need healing. My family needs healing. There are women out there that need healing. I also want to do nutrition. So are you consuming enough water? Are you eating the right portions of food, the correct amount of food? And I am not like a certified nutritionist or a doctor but I have gone to many trainings and I've done this for myself I'm in work out and just build that confidence just to be able to say that they feel healthy and that they feel good but I'm doing this for myself and for women and for Elijah most of all 
Thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you guys for ordering from me. Thank you guys for participating in any of the events that I have. We'll see you soon.